Maisie. I'm Mary, how are you doing? Hi, nice to meet you, I'm Maisie. So like, tell me a bit about like what football club you play for, like what your background is, that kind of thing. I played in golf for like four seasons when I was 14 to 17, and then I got injured, so I took a year out. Uh, but went back and played ladies for the same, again, the same club. So I played for the same team for like 14 years. Oh, wow. Loyal. Um, yeah, <laughs> but I, because they had a keeper when I joined the women's team, I started playing striker, but I'm back in the net now. I much prefer playing in goal. It's, it's where I feel comfortable. Well, I've obviously planned a little session for you and it's a little bit different because we're doing it virtually and I've never done this before. Let's crack on, like put your gloves on and that and we'll get started. Right, so just to get started, just jog up and down maybe to the to the board that you've got at the back and back. I don't need to do it with you, you can you can do that. Cool, yeah, just do that twice. Cool, and then on the way back down this time, if you just sidestep, if you face one way, yeah, and then when you hit the thing, turn around the other way. Okay, heel flicks to the board, and then high knees coming back. Sweet. Then when you've done that, nice and complicated to finish. You've got one hand in front of your leg, holding the ball, and one hand behind your leg, if you can see that. Yeah, bang on. So then literally you just throw it, switch your hands, and get it before it touches the floor. Literally just to get your hand-eye cord, there you go, that's real good. Don't let it touch the floor. Okay, sweet. Okay, so first things first, just kind of sit down in, the, in a sit-up position. Then basically what's gonna happen is Fraser is gonna throw the ball at your face. You're gonna catch it, obviously in that W position. Then you're gonna take it over the top, like lie back on the floor, touch the floor with the ball then come back up. As you come back up, throw it back to Fraser. Again, aim at his face. So we're working on, obviously, a little bit of handling, a little bit of throwing distribution nice and early, get yourself nice and warm, and activate that core. So you're gonna do that 10 times. Go on then, off you go, Maisie. So do a set of 10. There you go, take it all the way down, nice. Lock your elbows out, keep, it nice, keep them nice and straight. There you go, that's it, real reach. Perfect. I have lost count. Yeah, so have I, so whenever you want, I'll believe you. I think that was 10. I think it was 11, but we'll go with it. <laughs> it's fine, you're doing extras. That's great. Perfect. So this time, similar sort of thing, except Fraser's gonna throw it a little bit to your right and left. He's gonna alternate. So you're still in the, you're still in this sit-up position, yeah? But it's just to get that diving motion in and also still activating the core. So you're right here. You take it down, throw it back up from the floor, and then you go the other side. Does that make sense? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe drop the ball. <laughs> it's fine. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Do 10 again, so 10 total, so you're doing five each side. Nice, that's good. Use that leg to pendulum back up. Yeah, so if you can, throw it as you're moving back. So rather than coming up, throw it as you go. There you go, that's much better, good. Two more. Sweet. Oh, okay, we're doing extras again, perfect. Last one, there we go. That was Fraser, that was all Fraser. Yeah, that was Fraser, I seen it, you were ready and Fraser just wanted to give you some extras. You'll sit down on the floor in this seated position. That's it, perfect. And all that will happen is your server will throw it into your face. So just take it there. If you can get a volley, that's great. And the reason why it's so great is because you can't cheat. Like, your hands are there, you can't wobble from side to side. It's just you, your hands and your core. Then when you've done 10 like that, go onto your knees. So, take 10 again, nice and firm in here. And then you'll come 10 standing. And that's when, you know, you're thinking about that set position, hands out in front, weight through your toes, keeping that chest up right and forward, taking the catch, throw back. So 10 seated, 10 kneeling, 10 standing. Off you go. Yeah, that's it. Right, stay up right, lock that core in. Oh, trying oh, to kill oh, okay. me. <laughs> that's it. There you go, perfect, nice, nice and strong. Yeah, lovely throwback. Good. Keep your feet a little bit closer together, a little bit narrower, go more shoulder width apart, that's it, perfect. Nice and strong in your base, good. Is that 10? Yeah, it's 10, definitely. Okay, cool. If you um, if you need a drink, get a drink. Lovely. I'd quite like to know how you got into football to start with. Uh, so I joined a local girls team, Westbridge for Colts under 10s. 
first game I ever played in like a summer, summer tournament. It was against Hucknall Town and I saved a penalty and that was it. I went in goal after that ever since and I just trained as a goalkeeper. I loved it. So that was, that's kind of how I got into it. That's quite magic, isn't it? Like save one penalty and you're sold for life. I was sold for life, so I don't know if the you know if my team did it on purpose because they didn't have a goalkeeper, so they just thought, look, this is the perfect opportunity. And is there any any highs that that you haven't achieved that you want to achieve, or anything in the future that there's like that you want to do? Yeah, of course. I think there's always more you want to do. I think, especially when you're young, you're like, oh no, it'll be fine. I just want to do this. If I just do this, I'll be happy. But there's always more, so. I'd love to play more games at Wembley in front of 80,000 people. Like, that was just insane. That was mad. I was at that game. It was incredible. Mad. I mean, I'd love to win a Champions League. I'd love to win more trophies. I just want to win. That's basically it. I'd love to win a World Cup, an Olympics, a Euros. I want gold. I want so many gold medals I don't know what to do with. So, yeah, there's definitely... <laughs> Fingers crossed for next year, then. <laughs> I know. A lot of hard work to do, but the list of ambitions and, and objectives is, is never-ending. But it, it, it is an exciting few years coming up for us, for sure. Basically what you need as a setup is you need four cones. So you have two kind of narrow, they're maybe like one big step apart. And then you make a sort of mini goal. Yeah, perfect. So the first part is working on your first touch and passing, basically. So you're going to receive a ball through, take it across, around the cone, play back, drop in, set, take the catch. You're going to go four times to your left and then go four times to the right. Make sense? Yeah. Cool, let's, let's work. Nice, good hands. So keep that touch nice and tight. That's it, two touches. Good, nice and tidy. Don't rush through the reps. There you go, that's a real nice one. How was that, was that all right? Yep. Okay, perfect. This one, all you're going to start with is you set the cones up sort of in a little dish shape, if that makes sense. Number them. Tell me which ones they are. One, two, three, four. Okay, perfect. So the server will shout a number. He could shout a maximum of four numbers phrases, no more than four, because that would be very mean. All you'll do is move your feet to that cone. So if he shouts number one, move your feet to the cone, drop back into your set position, then you'll receive a strike off the floor. Let's go for it. One and four. Ah, oh, finish phrase. Three and two. Yeah, good set. Good set. That's better. Good. Four and two. Good. That's much better. Now you're giving yourself time to really set before the ball's hit. That's much better. One, four and two. Good, okay, stop there. Get yourself a drink. I know that can be quite tough work, so get yourself a drink. Okay, so this one's gonna be based in the goal. You're gonna start um, on one side of the goal, so it doesn't really matter which, left or right, okay? So you'll start here, you'll move across. As you're moving, Fraser's gonna put the ball pretty much in the bottom corner. So you've gotta move your feet nice and quick and get into your diving shape nice and sharp. Get across. Dive, make the save. As you've made the save, push the ball out to the side, don't worry about it. Get back up, get across, and that, the next ball's coming straight away. In terms of service, it's probably better to go accuracy, but maybe a little bit slower, rather than pelting it into the corner, if that makes sense. Obviously, don't, don't P-roll it in. Like, Maisie can take the dive. But you know what I mean? Like, try and get the timing right as quickly. See, service is hard in the, in the goalkeeping coaching game. Don't get it twisted, it's difficult. That's it, up sharp, up sharp. There you go, that's the one. Good, up we get, up we get sharp. Good, next one. Okay, really be tidy. Good, up we get, up we get sharp. Up we get, up we get, last one. Yes, great save to finish. Okay, perfect. <laughs> okay, cool, well, session done. Hope, hope that was kind of fun. I know it was a bit different from maybe a normal training session. I've never coached that way before either. But hopefully that was fun and you managed to get some good repetitions in and some good work in. Yes, fantastic. Thank you very much. Thanks so much to Lucas Aid for setting this all off. 
there's a little bit of a surprise for you. So you and a friend get to come and watch myself and the team train at St George's Park. Yo, that's sick. Thank you very much. You're so welcome. Like, it was a pleasure to meet you. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I wish you all the best with next season and stuff. And uh, yeah, I hope, well, I'll see you at St George's Park one day soon. Sweet. See you soon. Thank right. you.